Now, we all saw this coming a mile away. Strand was announced as one of the Incarnate Genesis weapons that could be grabbed from the Steel Path circuit rewards within the Devery Paradox update, and who guessed it? It's great, and everybody flocked to it. I mean, can you blame them? Alrighty then, time times are added beneath. Let's just get straight into it. Where do you go ahead and get the Strand Incarnate from? The Devery Paradox Steel Path circuit mission. You can select two out of five weekly rotational Incarnate weapons that obviously occur every week. Shun is currently available this week for you to go ahead and grab it. What evolution should you go ahead and take? Okay, so this one might take a bit of a moment because you can basically go for two different main routes here if you wanted to. So let's just try and cover as much as we can. Evolution one. Now you do not need to worry about this. This is practically given to you and it's a way to evolve your incarnate weapon during combat by hitting headshots and building up your evolution meter and then your shots will look a little bit different. Evolution two. So you can increase the base damage by two, but with a channeled ability active on your Warframe, you'll gain an extra four plus punch through. Or increase your base damage by two, but on fire, you gain 5% multi-shot, stacking up to five times for a total increase of 25% multi-shot. Now guys, I don't need to tell you this, but you should always realize this rule of thumb, multi-shot will always arguably be best in slot. So I pretty much advise you to go and take this selection. Evolution 3, gain 60% reload speeds. And keep in mind, you do not really reload during the evolve state, so it will not affect it. Only the base version will be affected. An electric proc has a 40% chance to refund one ammo into the magazine. And finally, just a flat 30% projectile speeds. So the middle option is an interesting one, but having a standalone electric element in the build, in my opinion, didn't really seem worth it. Plus it's only 40%, so, but it's up to you if you want to take this. The left option is the 60% reload speed, which in my opinion is great on the non-evolved state of the weapon. But again, as I echoed earlier, it doesn't affect the evolved state. It is a good choice. And finally, the right option is for more projectile speeds. Now this is just great for the evolved shot as well, because that is basically a projectile so if you mod for this and if you take this then you will be affecting the incarnate evolution side of it you can also mod for projectile speeds within your exiler slot of the weapon so i basically doubled down here and i focused on this option evolution four increase status chance per pellet by 11 percent increase critical chance per pellet by 12 percent or increase critical and status chance by 4%. So what are you wanting? Do you want a status build? Do you want a critical build or even a hybrid build? Either way, the choice is there and it's up to you guys what you want to go and take. Now this video is going to be focused around a status build, but I will show you a quick critical build as well. So we will cover both of the main routes to go and take. What does the evolved shot look like? A freaking laser beam. If there's any Austin Power fans here, no. Yeah, I, alrighty then. That was weird. Anyways, it's a laser, guys. Guys, it's... it's literally a laser it gives a decent amount of aoe and it means it's great for people who cannot aim aka my viewers so what does a build look like then we're focusing on the status build for now because i like diversity so to put it simply you are going to be wanting to aim for damage mods and multi-shot mods overall this is going to increase your damage output Add in as many elemental 60-60 mods that you can possibly add in, mostly focusing on that viral combination first. Then just a pinch of utility mods. Fire 8 mods work in great addition to what we're doing with status here. And finally, I recommend a faction mod to really amplify the build further. Again, keep in mind, faction mods you'll have to switch out whenever you go against particular factions, but it gives you that bonus multiplicative damage and also helps you with double dipping even on this build. Now, because we went status on a shotgun, it usually splits between all of the pellets and divides it and factors that in. But because the evolved version of this is just one giant laser beam, it adds all of the statuses together and it basically increases it massively. On my build, I have over 700% status chance alone. This means in one shot, we are proccing status elements left, right and center. This is going to be a powerful shot combination, but it will also inflict and add extra dots to your damage output. It feels fantastic. To use it this way. But what about that critical build? Guys, I'm just going to be honest with you. If you want to put the typical hunter munitions critical build 
on the shotgun, you're going to absolutely melt enemies in basically the same fashion. I'll leave a quick build on the screen here if you guys want to go and try this route. But ultimately, I have too many builds that basically cater towards the hunt and munitions mods. And I fancied a bit of a change. So both builds work and they're both good for end game content. You choose which one you want. Primary AoE builds are back on the menu, boys. And the Strutting Cardin is going to be a meta weapon for quite some time. I mean, any weapon that can basically AoE nuke enemies with scaling dots is always going to be a great addition to your arsenal to pick from. So honestly, what are you waiting for? No, like really, why, why are you still here? Have you got it yet? Hmm. I mean, if you are still here at this point, just put in the comments. Let's confuse people. Wow, Clark, that meatball's massive. But just phrase it in any way that you want to. Just let's go and confuse the comment section. Why not? Oh, and also don't forget to like today's video. I'm sure it does help. I think it helps. Actually, I'm not actually sure if it does help, but somewhere in my analytics, it will tell me if it helps, but I'm not actually too sure. But please go and like the video. And oh boys, oh my goodness, next week's weapons are gonna be a wild, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. I should probably end the video